Today I want to talk to you about a subject which is probably quite um, difficult to speak about at the moment, but necessary. A lot of um, creative uh, businesses have their activities either reduced or reshuffled due to the COVID-19 pandemic and to a lesser degree, the Brexit um, changes. Usually those, uh, those uh, uh, changes, those modifications of a business model and uh, uh, business achievements have uh, been negative. They've been uh, basically a reduction of activity, a reduction of uh, turnover. And um, this has therefore a, a, um, an impact on your, your human resources, on the staff that you need as a creative entrepreneur, as a creative business. So what are your options in order to uh, look after your staff and uh, take the right decisions for your creative business in um, this pandemic stricken time and also uh, for UK businesses affected by Brexit? Well, you have to do what's right for your business, uh, for the continuity of the business. And um, while the furlough plans uh, put in place by the the Chancellor of the Exchequer in the UK and the French government in France were okay for a while because everybody initially thought that the lockdowns would be temporary and um, a short term. Now it is coming more and more plain that this is going to go on for quite a while in the medium term, probably another six months or so until you know, uh, the end of spring, summer, when the weather is better and therefore the COVID virus is, a, is less uh, uh, forceful than it is during winter, winter periods. So the furlough schemes were okay, as I was saying, for a while. But um, uh, and, and for example, it probably is still being used, that furlough scheme in the UK at the moment, because um, there is a very strict lockdown, in particular in places like London, where basically most shops are closed, um, hairdressers, um, clothes and, uh, and um, other garments um, uh, shops, um, only the uh, primary necessities shops such as uh, uh, supermarkets for food ex and pharmacies and etc are open. So um, as a creative entrepreneur, now you have to think more short term about having to basically integrate this COVID-19 pandemic um, equation, uh, data into the equation. And it's going to be there for another uh, probably six months to a year uh, before things uh, start going back to normal. So what do you do in the meantime? Um, probably the furlough is going to be all right for a while, but then you'll have to take decisions as to which members of your uh, staff you keep and, uh, and uh, who do you have to uh, lay off. And these decisions have to be taken now. Um, in the UK, uh, thanks to a way more flexible employment law uh, framework, it is much easier to uh, make staff redundant and much less expensive. So um, make the most of this uh, flexibility of UK law, English, English law, um, in, with respect to terminating staff, especially those who have less than two years employment, which is usually the case in sectors like retail, um, hospitality, where the turnover is very high. And um, in France, well, uh, it's time to make the most of, uh, of you know, uh, the economic dif difficulties um, uh, uh, causes which allow you to put in place some redundancy plans. Um, which uh, which basically means that it will be uh, cheaper and easier to lay off staff by using the uh, redundancy option rather than the uh, uh, the termination uh, of an employment agreement for other causes. So um, size these opportunities to streamline and make your um, a creative business uh, lean and mean um, in order to for it to survive and for you to keep on having a li livelihood 
even in these difficult and fraught circumstances. As I said, it's going to go on for another um, uh, six months to a year. So you need to get yourself prepared and think more sh uh, me medium term now. Um, and the follow scheme is uh, is OK, but just uh, uh, a band-aid on the situation that needs to be adjusted for the me medium term in terms of uh, um, managing your human resources uh, to uh, the um, in the most efficient way for your creative business. Another thing I wanted to uh, point out in, with respect to managing your staff is that uh, now um, tele teleworking, working from home is de rigueur and therefore you have to make sure that uh, when your staff works from home uh, they can do so in a way that um, your data from your business, your, your know-how from your business, or the uh, uh, confidential information from your business is protected. So there are several um, platforms that you can use, such as Citrix, um, or even um, Microsoft Office 365, which allow you to give access uh, to your company's basically, uh, you know, a web organization, um, online organization and framework uh, through passwords, etc. from from basically personal uh, uh, computers, personal PCs of your of your uh, staff members. And um, now is uh, indeed the, the, the time to find a, an appropriate um, IT solution to be able to uh, let your staff work remotely in a way which is efficient, um, streamlined and also cheap so, so that they can use their own um, p uh, you know, pieces of hardware and, uh, and devices, but also um, that protect, protects uh, you and your business in case you need to terminate them um, uh, in a quick way and therefore remove access to this um, uh, online platform from which uh, the uh, uh, basically IT framework of your company is being managed. So look at uh, look out there, there are some solutions. Um, we at Crefer, we use um, Office 365 from Microsoft and we're very happy with it. And um, yeah, uh, uh, also of course, tele phone lines from uh, your um, uh, basically, uh, business premises need to be uh, rewired to the um, personal phone lines or mobile phones of your staff members who need to take the calls. I mean, it's all about logistics and planning, but it definitely needs to be done. It's going to be like this for another uh, another six months to a year. So uh, get used to it and uh, adapt your business, your creative business accordingly to uh, make it a fruitful and uh, lean and mean um uh, you know, creative uh, business for 2021. Bye for now.